Thank you for stopping by or welcome back if you've already been here. A few videos ago, I showcased my African-American black brown dolls. And at that time I had two Addy molds and two Sonali molds, one of which was Melody and I still have Miss Melody here. And the other one was Gabriella. And you see her in yellow. And then on Mercari, I got a lot that included a second Melody. I wanted to customize her a little bit, so I went ahead and gave her a spare Crystal wig that I had. I do like the way it turned out, and she's wearing a Cruella de Vil from the Disney ILY Forever, Illy Forever uh, line, the 18-inch doll line that I purchased um, on clearance at Target. So those were the three Sonali molds that I had, but I really wanted to customize one even more. I really was looking at the CYO generator on American Girl, but I you know, didn't want to drop the 200 or whatever it is on that. So I said, well, maybe I can do my own. So I went on Goodwill Finds and I did find another Sonali mold. I wasn't sure if she was Gabriella and I, because her eyes looked light at first, I thought, oh, maybe she's even Cecile, but she wasn't. She was another Gabriella. So I went ahead and got her along with some American Girl instruments. And I was pretty happy with that. And then I decided to try and give her new eyes. And who, boy, was that something. So yes, that was literally a three-day ordeal. I started that Friday and I just finally finished this morning. Um, this is Sunday. Um, so yeah, it was it was not fun. Now the doll herself was in very good condition. She, her limbs were tight. Um, her head was, you know, her hair was in decent shape too. And she didn't have any bad smells or anything. I wasn't sure about shopping on Goodwill, what I would come up with. Um, I did get her eyes from the doll of a kind and there were seconds, but to me they look really good. And as you can see, I did enhance her face with some freckles and I pierced her ears and put some human earrings in there. I may end up giving her a new wig at some point, but for now, this is what I have. I haven't decided on a name for her yet or her personal style. Um, I think I'm going to age her up just a little bit to maybe be a 13 year old. I don't really want them any older than that because I do have teenage fashion model dolls that I use for the older sets. Um, I'll show you those in another video. But yeah, this is this young lady and please leave your name suggestions in the comment box below. I'd love to hear what you think her name should be. And my second customization was a piece of cake in comparison. All I did was wig swap a number 90 that I had purchased on sale at Amazon recently. And Evelyn Rose has another, a really good video of her wig swapping her number 90 and she did it in detail. My number 90, this one, this wig was so easy to come off. It practically peeled off without any effort. I didn't have to use hot water, didn't have to take her head off. And I didn't, yeah, I should have just, that blue wig just came right off. And then I purchased this curly, it was another 115 wig from Mercari. So, you know, by the time you add up the cost, it's still like $100. But she was a brand new doll and she is in very good condition. And I'm really happy with how she turned out. And I do have a number 115, so I made them sisters. This is my 115. Her name is Geneva Suzette. And I named this young lady. I named her Lacey Simone. So they're sisters, they're not twins, but they are sisters. Lacey is the younger sister and Geneva is the older sister. And I actually gave them personalities, which I don't normally do. I decided that these two girls are sort of the old fashioned, maybe from the South. Um, they go to church, they like tea parties, they like very pink and feminine outfits, which is why they're wearing the Love Shack fancy dresses. and. 
Well, that's about as far as I got with their personalities, but hey, that's enough for now. And um, yeah, that's them. So let me know which of my customizations you've tried in the past or that you want to try. And um, I will say that the eye swap, <laughs> I literally was in tears because I was so frustrated and my thumbs are still throbbing. <laughs> I'll just say that. But um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this short little video. I will talk to you in my next one. So bye for now.